Well, as much as a, a lot of people know you for that, a lot of people, well, most people know you for writing the first hip hop single. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been involved with a few firsts. Now, well, well, <laughs> a lot of people, I don't know if it's unfortunately, but it, it is what it is. Like that that's what people know you for. They they known you for writing the first hip hop single, which is Rapper's Delight. Mm -hmm. And for all of you new jacks, I'm going to try my best to give you a basic version of a legendary story. Because I really don't, like I said, I want to get into you, but at the same time, we got to educate. No so, doubt. No in doubt. 1978, there was a woman by the name of Sylvia Robinson of Sugar Hill Records. Uh -huh. uh, she was interested in signing a rapper to join a group called the Sugar Hill Gang. She went into a pizza shop. She heard a guy rapping while making pizzas, and his name so happened to be Big Bank Hank. Uh, now, at the time, Hank was your friend and manager? Yes. Okay. Um, you didn't know at the time that the rhyme that Hank used to spit for Sylvia was your lyrics. I, I kind of knew and didn't know. Okay. Because, I mean, the way the way the whole thing came about is Hank, Hank was a doorman at a hip-hop club in the Bronx called the, the Sparkle. And uh, when I used to go to the club when I wasn't performing... I would I would chill, talk to Hank, you know, we you know, we got cool. And after a while I asked him, yo, Hank, won't you help manage my group? Okay. Because Grandmaster Flash had a manager. Um, the Funky Four had a manager. Okay. And it looked like hip hop was headed in that direction. Like if you had management, some kind of guidance, mm -hmm. I could get in more spaces. Mm -hmm. So I said, Hank, won't you help manage my group? And he agreed. But why Hank? Well, Hank, because I mean, we we had gotten cool. He was like a big kind of guy, mm -hmm. you know, ex football player. Mm -hmm. He had a presence, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? And I figured just having somebody to speak for you in front of you instead of you speaking. Yeah, it looked better. And, yeah, mm -hmm. so Hank Hank agreed. And uh, first thing he did was take out a loan from his parents, okay, $2,000. And we used that money to fortify our sound system. Oh, okay. In order to pay back the loan, he had to get a job. Because we wasn't making money at okay. hip-hop. We were putting more money into it mm -hmm. than we were getting out of it. <clears throat> hip-hop was a labor of love for us. That's right. So he got a job in a pizza shop in New Jersey. Okay. Okay, Crispy Crust Pizza. Is that where he's from? No, he's from the Bronx. Oh, okay. He's from University Heights, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how that came about. Okay. I don't remember. But he got a job in, in, in Jersey. And... Uh, he used to take a little boombox to work with him, you know, a little, little, you know, cassette player, right. boombox, and uh, of course, I used to make tapes. Uh, I, I made, I've been recording what I do ever since I started in hip hop, mm -hmm. so I made some of the first, like what they call mixtapes now. Mm -hmm. um, I used to record our live shows and practice at home and make tapes of them. So I would give Hank copies of the tape. Hank could take him to work with him, and I guess, you know, lip syncing, memorize, uh -huh. lip sync, you know, Millie Vanilli uh -huh. to the tape. So people coming in and out of the pizza shop be like, hey, the fat guy in the pizza he shop can rap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So when uh, Sylvia sent out her emissaries, which is her sons, you know what I mean? <laughs> Go find me some rappers, you know what I mean? Okay. Instead of coming to the Bronx. <laughs> Where she should have went. Okay, uh -huh. she looking around New Jersey. And uh, that's somebody guided her to the pizza shop, okay. and that's where they found Hank. So he used those rhymes, which is which were yours, uh -huh. to make that hip hop. Well, I guess it's the first hip hop hit. Could I say that? Yeah, the first rap hit. song. Okay. The first rap hit. Yeah, okay. exactly. Rapper's delight. Um, and with that, you've never received no credit, no bread, no publishing. Why? Um. Like the first rap hit, like the thing that kicked off hip hop, was you know like like some sideways you know you know what I mean. It was like it was it was shady, you know what I mean. I I was never I wasn't compensated. Um, the the Sugar Hill Gang wasn't even compensated the way that they should be mm -hmm. in a record contract. You know what I mean. Right. Nobody on the Sugar Hill label was compensated the way that they should have been as artists. Um, me, I caught the I caught the worst because I wasn't down with Sugar Hill. Mm -hmm. I was down with Hank. Mm -hmm. It was up to Hank to say, right, right, "Hey, right. this is Casanova mm -hmm. Fly. This is such and such." But he didn't. He just ran with the lie, and everybody else thought that that was him. Right. So 
But it, I mean, it's, it wasn't even a situation that people could have disputed whether they were your lyrics because you were saying your name exactly. in the Exactly. Like, to this day, he's <laughs> saying I'm the C-A-S and the O-V-A and right. the... He's saying I'm Casanova Fly. Right. You know, but... And, and, and I do I do hip-hop tours, right? Um, I've been doing it for 15 years and I, I tell the story like, I know. a couple <laughs> times a week. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is that... I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to... Uh, I don't know. I didn't know. I had no insight as far as where where rap was going, where it was head. You but know when what you I mean? start hearing this on the radio, or when you started hearing this getting big, like you angry, ain't you? Like, well, well, I mean, uh, yeah, of course. Like I said, I didn't know where it would go when I gave it to Hank. I'm okay. like, yo, go ahead, this and that, say this, say this, say that. You know what I mean? Because I'm not thinking it's gonna be anything. I'm 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 the MC. Right. Melly Mel is the MC. Busy B is the MC. All of us is here. Mm. Why would why would I think that my manager right, would go and make mm, a rap record mm. that would be successful at all? This is my thinking. I'm of like, course, well, you gonna make a record? All right, go ahead. Yeah, say this, say right, that. Right, right, right. And I'm not thinking nothing of it. But when that record came out, oh God. it changed everything. I know it did. Changed everything. So what did you do? Like, did you step to him? Did not you... really. Not really. Because when the record came out, once Hank made that move with Sugar Hill and the record came out, we didn't. I didn't see Hank again. Mm. I didn't see Hank. Ever like, again? No, no. Like oh, three years. Okay. I didn't see Hank. And Hank never called and said, yo. Yo, I, I, I'm I'm leaving, man. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do this situation, or I got this and that, or here, hold this, y'all hold right, this. Right, right. You know what I mean? That's when right. I get That's back, I'm gonna do. Did. He didn't do right, none right. of that. Uh -huh. He didn't do none of that. He just left, and I, uh, and the fact that he was bogus kind of prevented him from coming back to to to. You know what I mean? He could he could never face me mm -hmm. again after that. Well, and I mean, after being on the road for three years, mm -hmm. traveling around the country, and different people who know me. And know my material, mm -hmm. be like, hold up, that ain't that ain't. Right, right, you know right, I mean, right. especially when they came to New York, mm -hmm. Sugar Hill Gang perform in New York, they get booze from the first set six rows, mm -hmm. okay? Because they know that's my stuff, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And he never really copped to it. He never copped to it. So you're not only the first MC and DJ at the same time. You're also the very first ghostwriter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Raps, <laughs> raps first ghostwriter. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. So we know that. By now, 2017, uh, Rapper's Delight has probably made millions. Oh, millions. Millions. I asked everybody, you know how much money that record has, has made imagine. in 40 years? Millions. So who's getting that bread? Millions. Uh, well, I know Wonder Mike and Master G, who are the other writers uh, on Rapper's Delight, wasn't getting publishing. Mm. Wasn't getting their publishing Probably nobody either. was getting published. Sylvia Robinson. Um. Sylvia and, you know. And, but she and, died, right? Yes, yeah, she died. Everybody over there damn near died. All right? Wow. Joe Robinson, Sylvia Robinson, Joey Robinson, Scoochie Robinson, Big Bang Hank. Like six or seven of them from that contingency have passed away.